the most recent asteroid collision with Earth, leading to the extinction of dinosaurs, occurred approximately 66 million years ago. The culprit, known as the Chicxulub Impactor, was an enormous asteroid with a diameter ranging from 10 to 15 kilometers. The impact of this asteroid, responsible for the demise of dinosaurs, formed a crater on the periphery of the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. The estimated dimensions of the crater are 180 kilometers in diameter and 20 kilometers in depth. According to scientific theories, the asteroid not only created a crater but also generated massive tsunamis and ejected dust and water high into the atmosphere. This atmospheric disturbance reached such heights that it obstructed sunlight completely for nearly two years. Consider the scenario in which an asteroid of comparable magnitude to the one responsible for the extinction of dinosaurs were to collide with Earth today. The potential consequences could indeed pose a significant threat to humanity's existence on the planet. Now, imagine being informed that another massive asteroid of similar scale is on a direct course toward Earth, raising the possibility of a catastrophic impact. As you watch this video, scientists from NASA are mobilizing all available resources to avert this looming disaster. The asteroid is hurtling towards Earth at an astronomical speed, and efforts are underway to divert its trajectory. The impending collision between Earth and this asteroid seems inevitable at this point. Now the question arises, are we adequately prepared for such an apocalyptic event? In the 1998 science fiction disaster film Armageddon featuring Bruce Willis, he leads a team of astronauts on a mission to implant a nuclear warhead into a colossal asteroid approaching Earth. The goal is to split the asteroid into two parts, allowing them to safely pass over the north and south poles of our planet. However, it's crucial to distinguish this fictional asteroid threat from real-life encounters humanity has had with deadly asteroid impacts. In reality, notable asteroid collisions include the Tunguska event in 1908 and another event in 2013. The impact of the 1908 asteroid resulted in the flattening of approximately 80 million trees, covering an area of 2,150 square kilometers of forest. On the other hand, in 2013, an asteroid almost the size of a tennis court entered Earth's atmosphere at a staggering speed of nearly 70,000 kilometers per hour, racing from southeast to northwest. These actual incidents underscore the potential risks posed by celestial bodies impacting our planet. The impact of this asteroid caused widespread damage, shattering windows across the city and injuring approximately 1,500 people due to flying glass. When the asteroid exploded in the sky, it released energy equivalent to the detonation of about half a million metric tons of TNT. It's essential to note that the size of an asteroid is not the sole criterion in calculating its impact. The amount of kinetic energy transferred to the surface during an asteroid impact manifests in the form of shock waves. The greater the mass and speed of the asteroid, the more extensive the damage, leading to increased tidal waves, explosions, seismic activity, and the creation of a crater. Another critical factor to consider is the composition and density of an asteroid. Numerous studies on fallen asteroids on Earth reveal that the majority have a rocky composition. This implies that such asteroids are more likely to explode before reaching the Earth's surface. Understanding these various aspects is crucial in assessing the potential consequences of asteroid impacts. While the extent of damage from asteroid impacts depends on the size of the fragments, metallic fragments, though rarer, pose a significant threat as they can reach the Earth's surface intact, causing immense destruction. In response to this concern, NASA scientists developed the spacecraft OSIRIS-REx, designed to track and study the nature and trajectory of such asteroids. OSIRIS-REx marked the first U.S. mission to journey to a near-Earth asteroid named Bennu, with the purpose of collecting samples. Bennu, classified as a potentially hazardous asteroid, boasts dimensions of approximately one-third of a mile at its equator and is considered an ancient relic with more than 4.5 billion years of solar system history. In 2018, the spacecraft successfully landed on Bennu, and in 2023, 
it delivered the collected sample to the Utah desert. However, upon landing, the Astro Materials Curation Team at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston faced a unique challenge. They managed to collect 2.48 grams of asteroid material from the sample hardware even before removing the lid. The remaining material from the Bennu asteroid sample includes dust and rocks, with sizes reaching up to about 0.4 inches. Initially, NASA had anticipated collecting 2.12 ounces of asteroid material, but the spacecraft exceeded expectations, delivering 2.48 ounces. Currently, a team of scientists is engaged in studying 25% of the collected material to gather insights for future robotic and human missions. This study aims to enhance NASA's understanding of Bennu's physical and chemical properties, particularly for potential impact mitigation missions. Bennu poses a significant concern as it has a notable probability of impacting Earth in the late 22nd century, around the year 2182. To further space exploration efforts, the spacecraft, having completed the Bennu mission, has been redirected to asteroid Apophis for another round of sample collection. Apophis, another near-Earth object, is set to come uncomfortably close in 2029, with an estimated width of approximately 1,100 feet. It is anticipated to pass within less than 20,000 miles from our planet's surface, making it visible to the naked eye. Initially labeled the most hazardous asteroid that could impact Earth, Apophis was discovered in 2004. Initially, observations suggested a concerning 2.7% probability of Apophis impacting Earth in April 2029. Upon closer scrutiny of its orbit, the 2029 impact scenario was ruled out. However, scientists identified that during Apophis's 2029 flyby with Earth, it would traverse a gravitational keyhole with a diameter of no more than about 500 miles. This raised the potential for a future impact precisely seven years later, in April 2036. Subsequently, the 2036 impact possibility of Apophis was also dismissed in 2021. Given its proximity to Earth, there emerged slight concerns of Apophis colliding in 2068. Astronomers, utilizing powerful radar observations, meticulously refined the estimate of Apophis's orbit around the Sun with extreme precision. This refinement allowed them to confidently eliminate any impact risk in 2068 and beyond. According to NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, an impact in 2068 is no longer within the realm of possibility. The meticulous calculations conducted by experts indicate no impact risk for Apophis for at least the next 100 years. Consequently, Apophis has been removed from the list maintained by the Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, which monitors asteroids with orbits bringing them in close proximity to Earth, where an impact cannot be ruled out. However, it's essential to acknowledge that while the risk from asteroids like Apophis has been effectively addressed, the potential threat of larger asteroids, comparable in size to New York City, cannot be completely ruled out. The descent of such colossal asteroids, traveling at speeds of thousands of miles per hour, could generate an impact equivalent to millions of megatons of a bomb. Consider envisioning the impact of an asteroid the size of a 20-story building, where its collision would be akin to the detonation of thousands of nuclear bombs. Although the probabilities of an asteroid attack have been extensively assessed, the saying better safe than sorry holds true. Vigilance and preparedness remain crucial elements in mitigating potential risks associated with celestial bodies impacting Earth. What are your thoughts about an asteroid impact in the near future? Leave a reply in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.